Let's welcome back to an episode of Samurai Shampoo, episode 20. Last time we had an episode about Christianity in Japan, which, yeah, it was kind of that bad, except for I haven't heard of somebody trying to exploit fucking Japanese Christians to make gun ridiculous gun designs to sell to the military, but I want to be too surprised if somebody tried that. Yeah, I don't fucking put it past people to try to. Yeah, no, no. I, I'm, I totally believe that somebody probably did try to make a cult out of stranded Christians in Jap Japan in the olden ages. But the gunsmithing part is maybe a bit iffy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we had that episode. And now we're on two-parter, which, yeah, what's with my luck with two-parters now in this show? In this show, it's great with uh, the first two-parter. Could watch back to back, but it just so happened that this one, the last one, had to be cut. Had to be cut within a uh, week in between. Well, shit. <laughs> well, it's kind of a schedule, so. But anyways, guess with that said, let's begin. In. Two, one. Some days, some nights, some days, some files, some still samurai. Oh yeah, we got an official name to the samurai of that smells like sunflower. Say so. I kind of know about his last whereabouts of the secret church in Nagasaki that was burned down. Samurai Champloo. Da 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 da. The boo is on her own again. Fuck. I fucking forgot. Ah, oh, there's you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Think that does cost money. Hmm. Never been been a fat too big of a fan of these type of performances. That's a big bowl of rice. Hmm. 
ओके आ बिकॉज़ सेल इट आई गेस दे दे डोंट सी इन अ डिफरेंट वे बट दे परसीव द वर्ल्ड अ डिफरेंट वे Okay. Fucking yeah. Our fucking pickup line is. Do you, do you know that it's on our turf? They're becoming violence. Not because you're blind, it's because you're being attacked. <laughs> yeah, that could have sliced his ankles. Yeah, he want he want he just wanted to fight. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. Yeah. Hmm. All of them are stubborn. Well, this is this is in the direction of Nagasaki. It all depends on that. Yeah, I think it, these songs definitely would have a lot more meaning if I knew what all those places really meant. A place would have its own meaning. Jin and fucking Mugen pretty much became her bodyguards. Or now traveling in a troop, pretty much. A wedding. Sunflower. Well, did they butcher this part of the English dub? <laughs> I just done.
Ready, Mugen. I'll be hard. <laughs> ah. Hmm. No, you put a different perspective on it, so. Yeah, it's very much artistic expression. Yep, oh, move it! <laughs> Fuck yeah. He really tries to be a fucking in her pants. <laughs> the way you fucking jump in. Yeah, and then when you taste something, <laughs> taste something else, you uh, become addicted to that. I want that until you go accustomed to that feeling. Not yet! Hmm. Oh, yeah. Monkey your krill? Press. Okay. Hmm. She stopped for a second. <laughs> Hmm. 
Ah. Uh, the thing is, things have to end. <laughs> okay, every day. Yep, body compensation. Compensation. Yeah, that would be harder, even harder without your eyes. Because you can hear them fidget, but don't know what, how they're fidgeting or all that shit. Continuously on a journey. Hmm. That just, just means she hasn't accepted the thing that she's journeying from before. Okay. Ah, top battles. It's it's the uh, beginning of Beyblades. Just kind of pick a mask. Yeah, no, not that shit. Hmm. Can't give up on both. He did one of them. That guy again. How old is your son? She could it. They keep showing that grown ass man in the mask. I'm sure it hasn't been like 15 years since she started a journey. And she just got used to the journey and just didn't keep track of time. <laughs> yeah, you can't control your emotions. The situation. That's a lot of moves at once. Mugen! No, he's choosing both. That's not fool like at all. Stop eating. Hmm. <laughs> 
He's a more typical samurai. That was not in the original contract. They're gonna come for it in the next episode. Hmm. Gene is bit fighting something. He just left. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> dependencies. Holy shit, that's a shitty ass bridge. Hmm. Still could have kept it hat. Oh. Okay. Yes, for a blind person, a bridge would be a good place to find. This is only one direction you really have to defend or attack. Uh, a fucking crappy bridge is playing to a fight. <laughs> she can just feel and everything else. It's mine's eye. It's kind of like uh, what the. Uh, it, it, it's it's ninjas, yeah. It's ninja ninjas try to fucking do. I'm pretty sure that's like a test. Yeah, there, there's actually no official test for ni practitioners uh, of the ninja schools to avoid a wooden sword that's been that's gonna swing behind you onto your head. And you have to sit there in a, in the normal sit and then dodge as those, the sword swings down. Not too late, not too... Not too late, not too fast. Not too late, not too early. Uh, my point is all about listening to the mic the minute details of what your enemies can make when moving, like clothing's rustling, the sound of a sound of the object going through wind, and a bit of uh, just pre-programmed uh, normal techniques with which everyone would use. Like you get a mat, you can well. If you know your enemy, you can probably imagine what the enemy would do, and then you know how you would know how to dodge it. <laughs> well, that was episode twenty. So I'm gonna guess Sarah didn't fucking Sarah didn't lie about anything. <laughs> 
<sighs> she just didn't say that she just needs to do this for her son and all that. Intriguing to see what that's gonna end though. Uh, yeah. Anyways. I guess, yeah, with that said, I'll be it for this episode. Nothing too much to say except for intrig intriguing setup to how it would end. So, I guess, with that said, that'll be it for this episode of Samurai Shampoo, episode 20. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye! And here are the people who decided to sell out their souls. <laughs> Welcome to hell.